in the last lecture we learned how to add a constraint on a generic type now in this lecture we are going to talk about a special type of constraint called key of constraint and let's try to understand where we can use this key of constraint in our program so what we want is we want to create a function and i'm going to call this function get property value or get prop value you can call it anything and to this function we are going to pass an object i'll simply call it as obj and for now let's specify its type as object and we are also going to pass a parameter called key and this is going to be of type string okay so here for this obj we are going to receive an object and for this key we are going to receive a string value and what we want from here is we want to return obj of key so for example let's say this object has a name and age property and for the key let's say we have passed age so this obj object has an age property so this obj of key it will return the value of that age property okay so here let me go and let me call this function here i'm going to pass an object where i will have a name property let's say john and i'll have an age property let's say 28 okay so this is the object which we are passing for obj parameter and then for the key parameter let me pass name so what i want is this function should extract the value of the name property from this object which we are assigning to obj and it should return its value okay now here you will see that we have an error and this error is because this object is of generic type so typescript does not know whether this object is going to have a key so whatever value we will pass for this key typescript does not know with that value there is a key in this object okay and that's why we have this error for example when we are passing for this key the value name typescript does not know the object which we are going to receive for this obj parameter whether it has the name property or not and that's why we have this error now to solve this problem what we can do is here again we can use generic type so for this object i'll specify the type as t and since we are using generic type after the function name we need to specify the name which we are going for that type so we are calling it as t okay and this t so on this t we are going to add a constraint that this t should extend object all right and again we need to add this extend object where we are creating this t so we need to specify it here okay so now we know that this obj it is going to get an object so that we know now because here we are extending this t to object okay so here for this obj we are going to receive an object but still whether that object will have that property or not which we are going to receive for this key parameter that typescript still does not know so what we are going to do is we are going to specify another generic another template let's call it u and here this key is going to be of type u and for this u we want to tell typescript that this u should always receive a value with which we have a key in the object so for that on this u we are going to add another constraint and for that first we use extends and then we are going to use the constraint key of and it should be key of t because the type of this obj it is going to be t so whatever value we will receive for this key that should be a key of that object so for example in here for this obj we are going to receive this object so the type of this t is going to be an object where we will have a name of type string and age of type number and this u should be a value with which we have a property in that type i hope you got the point so for the t we should be passing an object and for the u we should be passing a value with which we have a property in that object and that's what this constraint means so when we say u extends key of t that means whatever value we are going to receive for u with that value 
we should have a key we should have a property in this t and with this now you will see that that error is gone okay and now we don't have any error here so here we are passing an object this object will be assigned to this obj and we are passing this name to this u and we don't have any error because in this object which we are passing for obj parameter there we have a name property but here if i try to pass a property for this key with which we don't have a property in this object for example if i pass gender we don't have any property called gender in this object so now you will see that we have an error because here this constraint does not match the u so for the u we are passing a string value this gender and with this value there is no property in t and that's why we have this error so this key of it will simply check if the value which we are receiving for this type with that value if we have any key in this type so this is key of constraint now if i pass a value here with which we have a property in the object in this object for example age that error will be gone so this is how we use key of constraint and using this key of typescript guarantees that the property accessed using key will exist on the object which we are going to pass to this obj parameter and this helps us catch potential errors early in the development process so this is all about key of constraint if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it this is all from this lecture Thank you for listening and have a great day.